He is a Director General, Entrepreneurship Development of India. And this is a very unique college, offers the PGDM uh, in Management, Entrepreneurship and he is there from last 32 years. And one of the very great college where success rate of turning to the entrepreneurship from the student is 89%. Ek bar jor se ta, 79%. Ho jayega 89. So, jor se taliya. And then we also have Suresh, uh, we have uh, the country manager who is Mr. Shashidhar Subramaniam sir, my friend from Buller, India. Buller is one of the oldest Swiss company, 136 year and they are basically in the solution of the milling technology and all the process, uh, agro process technologies and they are amazing in their own field. Other dignitaries, those who are panelists, they are coming. Jayan Mehta Sahib, Managing Director, Amul. Everybody knows Amul. Then we have Mr. Uttam Gowda, CEO, Captain Fresh. He is also on the way. And then we have Vignesh, Jay Krishnavan, Country Head, TMAC Agro. And they will be coming. Nestle MD, he could not join. He has uh, sent his uh, regret. How are we are going to moderate this session? First, I would like to understand how many you have interest in the startup. Raise the hand. Great. I could see some 36 hands up among some 72 people sitting here. And Aray, sir, welcome. Uttam ji, Uttam Gowda sahab, CEO, Captain Fresh. Thank you. And Mr. Vignesh from Country Head, TMC Agro. Ekbar jor se in kili bhi Startup ke log just in start hi aate hai. So we understand <laughs> sir. You, you value the time more than us. And now we got a fantastic panel and I ensure you that you will have an engaging session. As per DIPP, 1,74,036 startups are registered under DIPP for various schemes. And as we know that 16th January 2016, Honorable Prime Minister initiated the Startup India movement that doesn't mean that before 2016 there was no startup. There was always. Rather, India is the more than I would say that most of the businesses comes under SMEs and MSMEs sector. And I was talking to my fellow panelists that we should not only restrict this session only for the benefit of startup. We should include the students. We should include the small and medium businesses because they are the real startup. But definition wise, startup is the any institute, any uh, which is the company registered, not more than 10 years and not more than having 100 crore as a turnover. That is the qualifier for the startup if you want to take a benefit. But in our session, we will also touch base to the small and medium businesses, students, those who are interested to start something. How many of the students want to do some starts in the, sir, please come. And we got Dr. Sunil, uh, we got uh, Mr. Jayan Mehta sir. Sir, it was so coincidence, last session of the, actually, World Food India last year, I was a moderator and you were one of the speakers, sir. So, coincidence, sir. Jor se taliya mare Mehta sir ji liye. Okay, so, startup is a fantastic initiative and when we include small and medium businesses in India, they contribute to. 45% of the employment, small and medium businesses. Though the dignitaries on the dais, they may be from the big companies, but the vendors attached to them, what they actually give businesses to, they support directly, indirectly, huge startup community. Rather, you can influence in big way. And they got the benefit of the corporate world and also they got the benefit of actually seeing that how India can turn into because the small sector contributes in the big way to the employment generation. It was one of the studies which says that one crore investment in the agro and food processing generate 10 jobs directly and indirectly. One crore investment in IT sector generate only one job. What is good for India? Naturally, the uh, business like agro based, dairy based, because that gives you the lot of employment and we require employment. If you don't have a job, then you need a job. 
तो ये जरूरी है एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड स्टार्टअप गिवज यू द मीडियम एंड स्मॉल स्केल एंड वी हैव अ गुड ग्रुप ऑफ द साइंटिस्ट द कम्युनिटी फ्रॉम द कॉलेजेस द कॉरपोरेट्स इंडस्ट्री एंड नाउ हाउ वी विल स्टार्ट वी विल आई विल आस्क ऑल द पैनलिस्ट योर ओपनिंग रिमार्क ऑन द थीम नेविगेटिंग द सक्सेस फॉर स्टार्टअप डोंट रिस्ट्रिक्ट ओनली टू द स्टार्टअप मीडियम स्मॉल स्केल यू कैन इंक्लूड एंड स्टूडेंट्स कम्युनिटी हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर रेज द हैंड how many you want to be doing something your own startup very good god bless very good acha sir ne bhi hath upar kar liya okay so first sir uh, mehta ji because you are sitting at the extreme left to me uh, mr jain mehta he is a managing director amul and they have fantastic advertisement and we always envious to you sir ki what kind of advertisement you bring and to the point and very very sathik hota hai inka so In two minutes, sir, if you want to give the opening remark, yes, sir. Bite, 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 sir. Okay, sir. Uh, Namaskar. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Sir, I have told students who have raised their hand, so I have raised my hand. I am pursuing honestly. I am a student. I have a student ID card. I am pursuing PhD. Wow. Okay. 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 I am जिस जिस हिसाब से इस फील्ड में काम कर रहे हैं तो फ्रुगैलिटी इज़ वेरी एसेंशियल एंड रुपए की तीन आठनी कैसे निकालना वो थोड़ा बहुत सीख रहे हैं और उसको डॉक्यूमेंट करके एटलीस्ट ट्राइंग टू वर्क ऑन एक्चुअल जेन्यून पी एच डी रिसर्च विच आई थिंक इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो एनी ऑफ यू आर स्टूडेंट्स एंड परसिंग पी एच डी माई सल्यूट टू यू ओके दिस आई एव हैप्पी टू बी ए पार्ट ऑफ दिस सेशन बिकॉज दिस इज वेयर यू सीन लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हेयर मैनी प्रोफेशनल्स ऑल्सो हेयर and more importantly you looking at the world with a new spectrum you new prism and a new opportunity also which india offers to you and amul though being india's largest food and fmcg brand 80000 crore ka turnover hai bigger than the biggest multinational in the country uh, exports to more than 50 countries ranked recently as the strongest food brand in the world along with the strongest dairy brand in the world of course it has covered lot of ground over the last 80 years but still let me tell you it is a group of startups only i'm telling you again it is still a group of startups only because there are 36 lakh farmer families each one having 1 2 4 6 8 cows residing across 18600 villages of gujarat and procuring the milk that we collect 300 lakh liters of milk we collect from them every day these are the people who need to i mean many of them are, most of them are women many of them are illiterate still like you take business decisions of whether to invest a certain thing buy certain assets do certain activity each one of them does it every day to ek bhais ki kimat kitni hai can anybody say today gai ki kimat to ye aapko assets pehle to khareedne padenge usko khilana padega what percentage of feed is percentage of uh, expense for producing milk ठीक है तो वो सब कॉम्प्लेक्स कैलकुलेशन करके गाय को खिला के ट्रीटमेंट वेटनरी दे के कोऑपरेटिव का मेंबर बन के उसका शेयर खरीद के इस बिजनेस में आना और इस बिजनेस को बढ़ाना सो दिस इज हाउ ए स्टार्टअप माइंड सेट वर्क सो वी टॉकिंग ऑफ रूरल देन वी कम टू अर्बन एरिया एंड ही टॉक्ड अबाउट जॉब्स तो एक लाख लीटर मिल्क होता है इट क्रिएट्स कितने जॉब्स आपने बोला एक करोड़ रुपए मींस एक जॉब पांच जॉब दस जॉब एक लाख लीटर दूध मींस फाइव थाउजेंड जॉब्स सो दिस इज व्हाट मिल्क गिव्स लाइवलीहुड टू एट टू टेन करोड़ फैमिलीज एंड इट आर दी स्मॉल होल्डर्स इन्वेस्टर्स बिजनेसमैन स्टार्टअप्स हु आर द फंडामेंटल और द फाउंडेशन ऑफ दिस कोऑपरेटिव एंटरप्राइज अमूल इज वन ऑफ देम you have you come from karnataka there is nandini there is sudha in bihar there is berka in punjab every state has a dairy cooperative system and this is how we work so it is not necessarily the startups are those who are too bright using only technology let me tell you we use technology more than technology companies kya baat 1995 mein humne bola tha we amul will work like an it company in food business tab india mein it revolution to hua nahi tha y2k hua tab india mein y2 india ke engineers ka progress aapko pata chala duniya ko but that's where you embed technology into everything you do and as he rightly said working with the startups integrating the startups handing hand holding the startups and improving uh, not just uh, our efficiency but also 
their opportunities of dealing business, dealing with large See. data, doing understanding and all. So this is how the system nurtures. And this is where when you go to the market and sell the products, process it using the right possible technology, using the best possible infrastructure, using the best marketing tools at an efficient and affordable way so that when you as a consumer pay 100 rupees on any Amul product, 85% goes back to the farmer. Now this is the ratio which is the highest in the world. So most multinational companies, private companies, businessmen spend 5 to 12% of their turnover on advertising. Amul spends just half a percent of the turnover. Wow, fantastic. And still delivering the results, equity and taste of India and in the world. So, I have told this thing from Amul's point of view. But if you do any business or any part of things which you are either in your mind nurturing, incubating or thinking about a business idea and proposition, all these things come in. Who, who, what is your product? Where are you going to source it from? What is your USP? What is your moat? Then comes the financials, the fundamentals, uh, the consumer identification, the total market, addressable market. But most important and what is never lost on anybody and should never be forgotten is common sense. And if that is a thing which you think is useful, it may look as a very simple idea, but if you put layers to it, it can become a very strong marketable idea. So, isi tarah dhut jaisi commodity ko kisi ne naam deke, brand deke, asi saal pehle socha, to aaj ye bana hai. To aap jo bhi cheez karoge, jis bhi area mein jaoge, jo position hai India ki aaj dunia mein, there is no time in the planet ever that you will have 80 crore people, less than 25 years of age, residing in this small geography called India in the globe. So, you are at the right place, at the right time, at the right age, and with the right incentives and the encouragement which the government is doing through this World Food India kind of a program, showcasing India to the world, world to India, and of course uh, incubating the culti and nurturing the young minds that you are here in this room uh, to take India to a greater state leap in the future, which will definitely help you, your careers, your ambitions, your uh, startups to the citizens and the life of all of us around us. Thank you. Fantastic. Mehta ji, aapne to Actually, I would like to continue you, but there is a restriction from the organizer and also the startup is a pitch. Pitching is only three minutes, not more than that. And we have actually evaluated with me, my other colleagues, for the startup uh, challenge, what you got yesterday, the some of the few got awards. And one of the things which we kept, if you cannot communicate your points in three minutes, then you will not. So, but it is not applicable to the masters, huh? sorry, I'm just saying you. Uh, sir, two things which you said, and aapka jo PhD ke le, pehle to sir dhanyavad dena chato, aapne bata diya, and it's so difficult, because I completed my second PhD at the age of 51, I'm telling my age also. So, I will not ask you, I will not ask you, but let me tell you, it is not so easy, huh? you may be MD, but PhD karna bohut difficult hai, guide is guide, jaysay shadi karne ke baad pata chalta hai, bohut difficult hai, and you have to. So, frugal innovation, what you said, sir, and uh, frugal marketing and innovation also. And frugal, uh, actually in India, and you can do courses in frugality, so there are only two things. So, you have to do it, sir. We will come to you. But I have a very interesting uh, panelist now, and I come to Mr. Uttam and the Captain Fresh. So, your opening remark again, sir, you have all 180 seconds, so. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Uh, pleasure, privilege to be here. Uh, I am Uttam. Uh, I was a student like yours not long ago, a decade ago maybe, and then did my uh, MBA, then consulting, investment banking, and somehow got into seafood. And it's been seafood for the last uh, five, six years. Uh, of course, we will cover a lot of aspects about the startup and how Captain Fresh has evolved, but I'll give you a very brief intro of what Captain Fresh is. Captain Fresh is, a, uh, uh, I think, 20, 20 or 25th largest seafood company in the world. Uh, we clock around 5,000 crores of revenue. Uh, we started in 2020, one of the fastest growing companies in uh, seafood in the last five years. Uh, we are almost 60% of our business comes from the US, 30% uh, from Europe, 
and uh, most of our sourcing is done in india so uh, we are essentially trying to monetize the indian product sell it to the uh, developed world that's what we are trying to do and of course in a lot of this uh, technology has a large role to play maybe we will cover that uh, when we speak about the role of technology uh, but the short point that i want to make is um, uh, i was like you one among you uh, in a matter of 5 years to put together a business of 5000 crores how much 5000 crores halke se kyun bol rahe zor se 5000 crore please give the big hand here 5000 crore kya baat hai हमें चाय नहीं मिली लेकिन आपके नंबर से तो एकदम फ्रेशनेस हो गया शुक्ला जी बराबर ना या आई थिंक द द लार्ज पॉइंट इज दैट द इकोसिस्टम इन इंडिया इन द लास्ट आई थिंक 14 15 इयर्स हैज डेवलप्ड सो मच दैट एक्सेस टू कैपिटल हैज बिकम आई वुड से अ लॉट मोर डेमोक्रेटिक अर्लियर इट यूज्ड टू बी लार्ज बिजनेसेस इनक्यूबेटिंग न्यू बिजनेसेस आई थिंक टुडे समबडी विद एन आईडिया and ability to hustle and put those uh, hard yard uh, there is access to capital i think that's the short point i want to make before i think i'm sure we'll come back and discuss a lot about startup uttam ji uh, sorry i have actually uh, it was just a fun to say but 5000 crore is the very good thing and 60% of your business you are sending to us and that to know the norms of the usda are so stringent and you must be quality regulatory and i know that what kind of difficulty you must be facing but ek bar zor se taaliya do because you know 42% of the total employment is not by done by the government government can give maximum 10% of the employment it is by the startup medium scale st- and uh, actually the companies and we really respect those provide so kind of uh, employment now we go to very interesting personality dr sunil shukla ji when we were chatting and he is the director general of entrepreneurship development institute at uh, amdabad and 70% 79% of their alumni are the startups or the some businesses so opening remark sir uh, dr shukla ji if you can give about the success in the startup what are your aur sir aap hindi mein baat kar sakte ho we were discussing kyun na baat hindi mein ki jaye shukla ji please be comfortable and aapki hindi bahut hi achhi hai successes in uh, startups and we all have realized the kind of newer initiatives have been taken by government and different uh, agencies during last 10 12 years uttam ji ne bhi yahi kaha hai ek baat ek ek baat main uh, inki zarur uh, highlight karunga what he was telling ki today if somebody has a good viable idea the funding has been democratized i fully agree with kya baat hai uh, the kind of initiatives have been taken today and the support mechanism that exists not only for the funding but also for hand holding mentoring capacity building development etc etc uh if today somebody says that i have a good idea viable idea business but uh, we are not able to mobilize funding support not many people would believe this is the change that uh, we have seen during last uh, a couple of years so for the number of startups as you said that it is more than 1 and 1/2 lakh or 1.75 lakh uh, uh, unicorns we are aware, aware more than 100 or 117 118 unicorns are, are there of course some of them three or four of them have gone uh, uh, below dollar uh, 1 billion valuation uh, but again it keeps fluctuating uh, i would also like to say that while all these are uh, very very uh, pleasant development uh, even on uh, msme front uh, which is the second largest uh, employment generator after agriculture so not only we should confine to startups but uh, msme entrepreneurship per se lekin ek ye bhi tatya hai ye bhi zaruri hai dekhna chahiye ki uh, despite all these startup mortality rate continues to be very high oh. so lots of startups which are started every year many of them are forced to close down within a year even with a conservative estimate it is about 70 75% or maybe little higher yeah, than that more than that to wo kyon hota hai ye bhi humko thoda dekhne ki zarurat hai it is something viability of the idea or uh, the uh, team jo banate hain ya the technology le aate hain or uh, the kind of business plan or business model they develop probably uh, 
uh, we need to think about that also. I'll come to that later on if time permits. But uh, while lots of uh, pleasant developments are there, but we also need to look at certain aspects uh, in order to benefit from the talent of the youth today, uh, which are uh, much more aware about uh, realizing their potential for entrepreneurship and the support mechanism that the government has created, extraordinary support mechanism. उसके बाद और क्या करने की जरूरत है ये हमारे लिए विचार कर थैंक यू सर बड़े सटीक विचार है आपके और सुनील जी आपने जो पॉइंट बोला है मॉर्टेलिटी इन द स्टार्टअप एंड स्टैटिस्टिक शोज द सेवेंटी थ्री परसेंट स्टार्टअप एंड जो हम लोग स्टार्टअप स्टार्टअप देखते हैं टीवी पे भी देखते हैं तो आई टी कम्स इन द माइंड एंड दे डोंट कंसिडर एग्री एंड द फूड ऑल्सो कुड बी स्टार्टअप एंड इफ द फूड इज ऑल्सो सक्सेसफुल इन द स्टार्टअप बिकॉज ऑफ द टेक आइडिया एंड समथिंग ऑन द आई टी इंटरवेंशन बट आई एम सो हैप्पी ऑल अवर पेनलिस्ट आर हार्ड कोर बिजनेस स्टार्टअप नॉट द on the it it only but this something really good good to hear from you and we will come and i also like about your failures if we can have a success story but if we can have a failure sharing of the failures why they are failed i know many of the startup they got a funding first cycle second cycle and they don't know how to spend money they made a good office then then the fancy all everything but they are not invested back into the supply chain back into the technology they have not recruited any food technologies simple simple thing anyway we'll come to that sir but you have actually absolutely so important now we come to our uh, friend uh, uh mr shashidhar sir if you can uh you opening to because we were discussing during the pre discussion and you have supported so many medium and small scale milling and also that sector which is not organized sector but your company is hand holding them so your opening remark on the success thank you uh, my name is shashidhar i have been with buller for uh, 10 years now i'm a mechanical engineer and an industrial designer by training so uh, buller is a 160 year old swiss multinational we are uh, present in about 160 countries across the world 12000 employees we do a revenue of about 3 3 and 1/2 billion every year and primarily our uh, businesses come from two different uh, verticals the food part contributes to about two thirds of our business and the non food part which is mostly into materials uh, that contributes to a third so why does Bueller deserve a place in a room that's filled either with startups or people aspiring to be startups. That's the question I would like to address in the first part uh, of of uh, my address. Uh, you look at Bueller's businesses. We are present across all the uh, you know dominant staples and the consumer foods, the the snacks and the processed foods. about 60% of the market share for uh, wheat and about 30% of the market share for paddy uh, and about 80% of the market share for uh, commodities like chocolate is uh, addressed by puller so which means that either the buyers of the products that you are creating here or the sellers of the products that uh, you would create would be one of our customers most likely so that's that's point number 1 so we've got a very large presence in the food processing space number 2 uh, is our focus on some of the most important uh, topics that's that's bothering the world today which is sustainability climate change you look at the context of uh, climate change and the role of food and the agri value chain here about 25% of the global greenhouse gas emissions you know are coming from food food processing and uh, related industrial activities and the sad part is that about 30% of all that's produced is getting wasted or lost in the value chain and it's our commitment it's our public commitment to reduce the energy waste and water in our customers value chain by about 50% by the year 2030 and this we know is something we cannot do alone and our approach to innovations on this journey is mostly through collaboration so we want to collaborate with startups and bring the technologies that the startups are developing to the large uh, customer base that we have this is the second point and the third point is the past track record of buller number 1 
we have been uh, the founding partners of the world's largest not for profit accelerator uh, called mass challenge in lausanne which we co-founded along with other industry giants like uh, nestle shivadon kia and all these people so every year uh, we run a cohort of about uh, 80 to 100 startups at Mass Challenge Lausanne, and we host a lot of these startups also at our Bueller facility uh, in Switzerland. We've been running a miniature version of this, uh, uh, this this startup engagement in India as well for the last five years. Uh, in fact, incidentally, the next month we are launching uh, the the startup challenge, uh, in which we have received an excellent participation from about 200 startups across the country. So that's that's the third thing. And fourth thing, we have a network of about 30 different application and training centers around the world that we throw open to the startups to discover their product market fit without investing into capital uh, equipment. Sir, you talked about the failure of startups. And one of the main reasons why that happens is you've invested a lot into your capacities without figuring out what is it that you ultimately need to produce. So it is our firm belief that by opening up our application and training centers to the startups, we are doing this community of very dynamic, young, and uh, intelligent entrepreneurs our bit by opening up the best of the processing technologies to these people so that they can focus on discovering the product market fit be before worrying about operations. And so that is my interest of being here, and that's how you could benefit by engaging with Pura. Thank you. So well articulated. Thank you, Shashidhar sir. And I think sustainability is aspect what you have mentioned is not only about planet sustainability, the business sustainability, financial sustainability, how to manage the finance, how whenever you get the any kind of support, how you should allocate the resources. And I think one of the very important point which you mentioned is the mindset about the innovation and startup is not about failure or success. It is about mindset. If you fail, how you can again restart? And if you get a success, how you can be at the ground? That is also important. I think these are the two aspects and we have to learn from the business community. They are so simple and they are grounded. The big people, what we have seen. And startup is very important for that. So now I come to the, our, uh, the next uh, uh, Mr. Vignesh. And as you are the head, country head for the TMAC Agro, and we'd like to... Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to be present with all of you here today. Um, so my name is Vignesh. Uh, I head Timac Agro's operations in India. Timac Agro is a 65-year-old French multinational. We, we have subsidiaries in 39 countries with about 10,000 employees globally, and we do a little over 4 billion euros of consolidated turnover. Uh, I head our India operations. I've been with the group for five years. Uh, I am from India, of course. Uh, I had a 3,000 kilometer journey to come here today uh, from Chennai. I run my operations out of Chennai. We have a small 100 member team in India with humongous ambitions because, I mean, for agri inputs, if not India, then where in the world? Uh, and uh, just to come in line with what Shukla sir said, uh, when we talk about startup failures, my pitch whenever I meet someone new is always I have successfully failed two startups. Uh, because before my role with Timac Agro, I successfully failed, failed two startups. Start Amazing. Uh, because Sadaria. what it teaches you, you, I mean, I, also about my background, I'm actually a scientist by training. I have a PhD in molecular biology, and then right out of my research stint. I realized that uh, you want to make a mark in this world, you want to do something. And that too, I was in healthcare biotechnology, right? You think about a solution for a disease and then hopefully in your lifetime, something will come to fruition. And so patients thought, uh, and so I said, okay, uh, there was a patent from my uh, master's thesis. I licensed that, created a startup, raised funding from Bayrak. Uh, I've been to the EDIA in Ahmedabad, incidentally, in 2014 to present Kalam Sa Raya Thay. Hanji, tab I had the opportunity to present it in front of them. And the amount of things that it taught me, uh, I cannot imagine getting that from, you know, uh, even the best schools. And then so I said, Thike, that's. <laughs> That's one step and then I moved back to France. I've been a, a, a shuttler between India and France and I was working with another startup. I managed to get to INSEAD while I was there. So it 
formalized all that that I had learned Matha Marke till then. And then uh, the group Rulier found me and I, it was a calling for me to come back to India. So in fact, uh, the, the context here today, I talk a lot about sustainability in the agri-food chain. I absolutely agree with, uh, with uh, Mr. Subramanya when you spoke about the amount of food waste that goes in and the amount of GHG that comes out of the farm to fork segment, so much of it that's avoidable. And of course, we worship our farmers, Anadatta, that is important. But it's also important that we be conscious of the amount of not just the food waste, the water waste, the electricity. Uh, it's it's just, it, it's definitely not sustainable. And uh, with that, I would just like to add two notes to set the context, uh, which is why, uh, like Sir said, uh, financial sustainability, whenever we talk about a business, uh, the the word startup and all of its glory is all uh, is all very attractive we talk a lot about fundraising and valuation but that is unfortunately not the game to play if you're here for the long run uh, and uh, like we spoke about the product market fit a bit earlier it's really important what the most often the 27 percent startups that manage to survive beyond their first year of operations are uh, they come with the amount of adaptability and the other thing that this startup ecosystem generates is an enormous level of skilled talent uh, i remember last year when i was looking for my hr manager whom i wanted to use to build the culture for Temac agro in india my mandate to the recruiter was not a seasoned veteran uh, HR from with 10 years of experience. I said, find me someone who's built a startup from scratch, who's gone through the pains of hiring his first 10 people, tried to build that culture and had to close it. That person would know what it means to build a company to, to bring that in. So outside the glory, outside, you know, you get all of your, uh, it's all very nice to put on a CV, but then the value systems that uh, going through the grind of building a startup is phenomenal. And it, it's, it, to me, in the Indian context, it's a huge skilling area. So sometimes when I hear college kids, I, I talk a lot in institutions, and they say, Sir, I have to start up. I mean, that expression has not come to me today. So I don't have So I always tell them, you know, don't go behind the glory of it. Find a solution, stay adaptive, stay hungry. Keep tweaking, and if you can't, and don't go behind the funding game because I've done that. Uh, equity free funding, 50 lakh to government de deta hai. By rack, I mean, I go to them with an idea, and they give me 50 lakhs to say, here you have 18 months to spend it, uh, and uh, and which was phenomenal. The kind of support that is there, but what you need is resilience. And with that note, sir, I will. I think uh, fantastic. Air. Please, jor se taliya bajao. And let me tell you, GST nahi lagta tali pe, bilkul baja sakte ho jor se. And each word, sir, let me tell you, 120 years of experience sitting here, more than that. And I'm so blessed to have a wonderful panelist. And uh, aapne jo, sir, ek ek shab bola hai. Culture. It's such an important thing, culture. Those who are microbiologists, my friend Smita is here. You understand, if you want to have a good yogurt quality without having a good culture, original. Otherwise, the yogurt prepared and hamare actually jain sahab has rahe hai kyunki unko pata hai ki wo power of microbes kya hoti hai to wo microbes hai wo culture hai hamare company mein agar hr aapne jo bola it's so important to have a good culture otherwise the whole company spoils blaming culture is not good the positive culture and second thing which you are agility adaptability and agility there is a sanskrit subhashit which says that amantram aksharam nasti nasti mulam anaushadam ayogya purusha nasti ayojaka means like what is unique is the ayojak, the manager, the entrepreneur. Everything is possible. There is no word which doesn't have power of mantra. There is no root which doesn't have power of medicine. And no person is useless. We believe that there are few people useless, but they are not. Only thing is that we do not have ability to find out what is good in that. Now coming to the second fire round about few questions which we frame. And I start with the uh, MD Saab Amul, uh, from Amul. Sir, your company is, now I was not aware, I thought that 7.2% must be spent on the ad, which is actually a dikhne kilo lagta waise. You may have a various way of getting the work. So, startup mein sir paisa hi nahi hota hai. Because they are frugal. Not only frugal, they don't have money. Aray, bicharo ko payment ke liye paisa nahi toh fir. Toh paisa ki baat bol deta ho sir, 
a, a one person and his uh, son started a startup and then after that uh, he failed so i asked his father because i mentor a lot of startup how he was doing he, was, he said he was doing fantastic initial 3 years and he was making some money also then he said what happened then how oh, he failed then he recruited one mba <laughs> story ain't so it is not about mba sorry i am not against the mba he said the person who came from the theory and he started implementing in the first year only it is not possible so what you do differently sir so yeah this is exactly the mindset the frugal mindset is what no, i actually, don't quote anything it is like something <laughs> no no actually actually being implemented at amul let me tell you because resource limited hai aur kaam aapko karna hai so and you think about the recent things which we have done theek hai you must have heard about amul dark chocolates theek hai sabne khaya bhi hoga so who who aap just think about it ki aapko amul dark chocolates ke bare mein kis se pata chala दुकान वाले ने बोला होगा दोस्त ने रिकमेंड किया होगा दोस्त ने सोशल मीडिया पे कहीं पढ़ा होगा ये है कोई एक भी अमूल डार्क चॉकलेट का ऐड याद आता है क्योंकि किया ही नहीं है तो हमारे पास हम सामने इतना बड़ा कॉम्पिटिटर है यू नो विच हुम आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट उसके सामने हमको लड़ना था ठीक है हमारे रिसोर्स लिमिटेड है और अगर पैसे स्पेंड करने हमको तो हम किस पे करेंगे दूध दही छाछ आइसक्रीम पे डेयरी प्रोडक्ट पर करेंगे क्योंकि तीन लाख लीटर दूध तो आ ही रहा है हमारे पास लेकिन अमूल की इक्विटी में चॉकलेट इज ए 50 ईयर ओल्ड प्रोडक्ट इन आवर पोर्टफोलियो तो व्हेन यू टॉक टू 50 कस्टमर्स और वो बोलो कि व्हाट आर द फाइव थिंग्स व्हिच यू थिंक अबाउट अमूल तो दूध बोलते थे बटर बोलते थे चीज बोलते थे आइसक्रीम बोलते थे चॉकलेट्स भी बोलते थे बट चॉकलेट्स में वी नॉट वेरी स्ट्रांग सो इट वाज ब्रिंगिंग डाउन और ड्रैगिंग द अमूल इक्विटी डाउन सो वी न्यू वी हैड टू डू समथिंग बट वी डिडंट हैव रिसोर्स फॉर पंपिंग इनटू चॉकलेट्स बिकॉज़ चॉकलेट्स रिक्वायर वेरी हाई एडवर्टाइजिंग ब्रांड बिल्डिंग एंड ऑल सो देयर वी हैड टू थिंक एंड वर्क लाइक अ स्टार्टअप identify a niche in the market it was dark chocolate because the other guys were doing only milk and sugar based chocolates so we identified a dark chocolate we put in the market studied the consumers listened to them their voice they said acha mere ko ye 50 55 dark acha laga why not amul have a higher dark version to humne 75 launch kiya then you said why not higher 90 launch kiya why not highest to 99 launch kiya which is actually 100 and then is me coffee kyun nahi hai is me orange kyun nahi hai is me flavors kyun nahi hai is me single country why can't we have so we created a portfolio of 30 40 skus we expanded the plant which was running at 1/5 the capacity to 5 times we managed to do that 100% and achieve target in 3 years we are doubling up that now but all without a single rupee spent on advertising very good so so you have to listen to the customer and personally i have seen and i keep seeing in for last 10 years every single tweet or post on amul by any customer anywhere i would be the first person in the company to see it wow so listening to the voice of the customer adapting it and engaging with it is the way forward without actually need to spend it abhi hum log protein pe kaam kar rahe hain must heard of amul protein pro lassi buttermilk it's not available in retail shops sold only online and also without advertising yeah. just sheer word of mouth probiotics ki baat ki amul ki chaach 100% probiotic ho gayi pure india mein ek sath 30 lakh liter chaach every day at the same price of 30 rupees a liter and again that's trying to create a market of a product which is able to deliver the service about it so marketing is very expensive market advertising is needed but mass media is a thing which you can do only if you have deep pocket. absolutely okay and though we are the biggest we have to think three times before spending money on this aur fir india ki cricket team hum nahi khareed sakte obviously to fir hum south africa se chala lete hain theek hai aur fir world cup final mein dono khelte hain sir hum chahenge aap india ke bhi le lo same eyeballs of visibility hum chahenge aap india ke bhi le lo sir nahi wo affordability availability ka bhi issue hai okay ha theek hai aur जिन्होंने भी लिए हैं वो कंपनीज आजकल ठीक नहीं कर रही हो पिछले 25 साल का रिकॉर्ड हमारे तो इसलिए सिर्फ अठहत्तर साल हुए हैं और हमको 50-100 साल रहना है इस दुनिया मार्केट में दिस इज आउट ऑफ द सिलेबस सो बी कॉशियस इन स्पेंडिंग मनी इट्स नॉट एज एन इन्वेस्टर इट्स योर स्टार्टअप इट्स योर मनी योर ब्रांड ऑफ कोर्स यू टू वरी अबाउट इट बट थिंक वेरी ट्वाइस थिंक मल्टीपल टाइम्स बिफोर स्पेंडिंग दैट मनी फाइंड ऑल्टरनेटिव एन यूज टू डू दैट एज आई सेड अर्लियर रुपए की दो तीन चार अठनी जितनी मिले खींचो बट ट्राई टू बिल्ड ऑन इट बट मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली वॉट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज हु इज योर कंज्यूमर वॉट इज ही और शी टॉकिंग अबाउट इट इफ यू आर एबल टू हैव ए पल्स ऑन दैट आई डोंट थिंक यू नीड टू स्पेंड बिग डॉलर्स टू गेट दैट थैंक यू थैंक यू मेहता जी एक्चुअली what you have I said i wish and pray that each one of you gets deeper pocket 
to build brand because the investors also know that in a very tough and competitive world, you need uh, money to build your brand in the shortest possible time because they are also anxious about the results. Yeah. No, no, I just want to make a correction from what Mehta sir want to say. It's not about spending money, but it's mindful spending money. Paisa fake na nahi hai, paise ko kharch karna hai. So that is what you are trying to say, but very frugal uh, branding and it is a strategy what you have adopted. I come to Dr. Sunil sir because you are sitting next to him and he has gave me a very good idea during the pre-discussion about mindset, the culture, uh, the culture part we heard, but Sunil sir said he is in 36 years of experience of the teaching and one of the factor what makes the success is a mindset, it is not about resources. We believe that somebody has huge money is a successful entrepreneur, it is not. So sir, can you throw a light what you yes, want to sir, communicate? Uh, and a mindset ke baare mein aapne bola tha aur culture ke baare mein bola tha. Sir, hum log kareeb... Or sir, sorry sir, mein chahunga sir, hamaari baate man se bolo, jese inho ne bol di India team wali, isse bolo ki hume bhi... EDI jo hai kareeb 42 saal purane institute hai. Or hum aisa maantte hai ki khas kar is samay mein entrepreneurship ka jo itna badhiya mahol abhi hai, jo behtar mahol hai, itna shayad pahle kabhi nahi tha. हमारे जो स्टूडेंट्स आ रहे हैं, दे आर मच मोर इनफॉर्म। टेक्नोलॉजीज एक्टिंग एज एन एनेबलर, सपोर्ट सिस्टम इज़ दे आर बिग कंपनीज आर आल्सो दे आर टू सपोर्ट थ्रू देर एक्सेलरेशन प्रोग्राम्स एंड ऑल दैट। लॉट्स ऑफ़ न्यूअर इनिशिएटिव्स, चाहे वो स्कीम्स के माध्यम से हो, लेकिन जब भी हम ट्रेनिंग करते हैं और हम महसूस करते हैं और लोगों को भी बताते हैं कि एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप इज़ नॉट अबाउट नॉलेज अलोन, इट्स नॉट अबाउट स्किल अलोन, इट्स मोर अबाउट एटीट्यूड, द माइंडसेट। सो आप अगर एंटरप्रेन्योर बनना चाहते हैं तो दैट एंटरप्रेन्योरियल माइंडसेट इज़ Spot the opportunity and act on that opportunity. How is your persistence in you? Where is the persistence? In our Sanskrit, Bharati Hari has said somewhere. A shlok is very good. I will tell you. Prarabhate na khal vigna bhaiye na niche hi Prarabhate vigna vihita viramanti madhya vigna hi Punah punarap pratihanya maana Prarabdham uttam janah na paritya janti. What he says that there are three kinds of people in the world. First, those who do not start because of the hurdles involved. It's very difficult to do it. The other who start but whenever any hurdle comes, they stop, take a quick U-turn. But those who are in the topmost category, even if hurdles can be repeatedly, they never give it up till they complete. That is entrepreneurial aptitude. Yeah, what? Yeah, persistence, which we call this, this is the one who is an entrepreneur who has never failed. But what we have learned from that failure, और क्या हम सीख सीख रहे हैं और अपने ही नहीं दूसरों के फेलियर्स दूसरों के अनुभव से सो एंटरप्रेन्योर्स लर्न फ्रॉम अदर्स एक्सपीरियंसेस तो ये जो हम जान करके शुरू करते हैं कोई बिजनेस लेकिन उसको बढ़ाने के लिए तीन चीजें हम बताते हैं बहुत सारी क्वालिटीज हैं बहुत सारी चीजें लोग बताते हैं बट हाउ डू बी इनक्रीज एंटरप्रेन्योर इंटेंसिटी एक होता है उसमें आपका प्रोएक्टिविटी दैट whether you are first a starter, prime mover, etc., etc., you will always have that advantage. The other thing is that you have done a moderate, calculated way of doing it. And the other thing is innovation. The issue of innovation is also a mindset. People understand that if you take innovation, then the risk is more. If you don't do innovation, then there is more risk. So these are two or three things that you have to tell. और अगर आप देखिए कि जो मैंने कहा बार बार मैं कहूँगा कि पिछले 10-12 साल में किस तरह से चीज़ें बदली एक सर्वे हम लोग करते हैं ग्लोबल एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप मॉनिटर दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा सर्वे है एंटरप्रेन्योर माइंडसेट पर करीब 60-70 कंट्रीज में हर साल होता है वी लीड इंडिया पार्ट ऑफ दैट ग्लोबल एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप मॉनिटर एंड फॉर लास्ट अबाउट सेवन एट ईयर्स देर इज़ वन इंडेक्स देर आर सेवरल थिंग्स दैट वी कैलकुलेट एंड एनालाइज एक इंडेक्स है टोटल अर्ली एज अर्ली स्टेज एंटरप्रेन्योर एक्टिविटी इंडेक्स टी यानी कि 18 से 65 साल के आयु वर्ग में कितने लोग एंटरप्रेन्योर हैं या एकदम तैयार हैं एंटरप्रेन्योर बनने के लिए ये करीब 6 परसेंट हुआ करता था 10 साल पहले आज आप जाकर के देखिए ये 
ये इंडेक्स जो है करीब करीब पंद्रह परसेंट क्या बात है और सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द रेस्पॉन्डेंट अंडर दिस सर्वे इंक्लूडिंग द यूथ दे फील दैट देर आर मच बेटर अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन इंडिया एंड आई पर कैन परसीव एन अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड आई फील कॉन्फिडेंट तो ये चीजें इस तरह से बदली हुई हैं इस साल के सर्वे में इंडिया इज द सेकेंड डेस्टिनेशन सेकेंड मोस्ट फेवर डेस्टिनेशन आउट ऑफ फोर्टी नाइन कंट्री जिनका डेटा उसमें मैंशन किया गया है तो आज स्कीम्स हैं जो हमारे युवा हैं उनके अंदर क्षमता है इंस्टीट्यूशंस हैं हार्डली 50 इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर हुआ करते थे 10 साल पहले आज 1000 से ज़्यादा इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स हैं 1000 से ज़्यादा एक्सलेटर प्राइवेट वगैरह छोड़ दीजिए और पहले दो चार दस इंस्टीट्यूशंस होते थे आंटरप्रेनरशिप के लिए आज एवरी इंस्टीट्यूशन इज क्रिएटिंग एन आंटरप्रेनोर दे हैव दैट प्रोग्राम सो लॉट्स ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर देयर एंड इट इज़ नॉट बाई फ्लू कर बाई चांस that we are one of the top most uh, destination for the startup third largest destination for the startup and fastest growing major economy aur abhi kal main padh raha tha 2030 mein shayad hum teesre number ki arthavyavastha ban sakte hain chalo isme entrepreneurs ka bahut bada yogdan hone wala hai aur ye ek vatavaran sab mil kar ke jo create kiya hai uska advantage humko lena chahiye बहुत अच्छे शुक्ला साहब आपने प्रोफेसर साहब बहुत ही अच्छा आपने बताया और दो पॉइंट्स आपके बहुत अच्छे लगे एक तो संस्कृत सुभाषित से आपने बताया कि स्टार्ट करना उससे कंटिन्यू करना और कुछ भी विपदा आई तो उसको स्टॉप ना होते हुए आगे जाना परसिस्टेंस रिस्क टेकिंग एबिलिटी इनोवेशन आई थिंक वेरी वंडरफुल यू सेट सर इट रिमाइंड्स मी माई सन इज इन क्रिस्ट क्राइस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी बेंगलोरू एंड आई वेंट देर आई सॉ दैट वन स्टार्टअप इनिशिएटेड बाय वन मेंटरिंग Uh, system and also it's by no relevance but it is from gupta and brothers what they do they help you to initiate one startup and particularly for female and male and they help you so i went there so i said what idea you give i said nahi everything we will make you a startup to start in your name you become a startup owner and you on your biodata it will come i said fir aage kya hoga bole aage shaadi ho jayegi bas utna hi unka so i was surprised that is also a startup i will make your son or daughter to become owner of the startup aage kya hoga shaadi hogi only for the marriage and that is from the dowry kam lagegi so it's such a big business in it particularly but india can do anything because that is also opportunity jaise aapne kaha ki is a third of startup ecosystem and the marriage is the first and we we can actually find out the idea anywhere now i come to my friend uh, mr uttam and he is a cricketer sir you are a bowler or batsman batsman ah it's a batsman so horrible score more but sports and startup has a similar uh, mindset you required because Absolutely. agility the failure the stress management the fitness the discipline and i was reading the book that uh, said successful startup and ceos who are they दोज हु कम आउट ऑफ द बेड इन मॉर्निंग थर्टी सेकेंड्स में कितने लोग आते हैं बाहर बेड के थर्टी सेकेंड्स में मैं नहीं आता हूँ बट कितने आते हैं हाथ ऊपर करो यार जोर ऊपर से बस सर आप स्टार्टअप कर सकते हो बिल्कुल तो मैं एज की क्या बात करूँ सर आप तो पच्चीस साल की लगते हो सर वैसे दूध तो पीने वाले लोग तो बच्चे ही होते हैं सर तो सो माई क्वेश्चन इज सर रियली You you have really impressed all of us. इतने सटीक से बोला धीरे से बोला पाँच हजार करोड़ अभी भी मेरे को थोड़ा सा ये लग रहा है कि इतने डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन में बट सर टेक्नोलॉजी इज चेंजिंग थ्री ईयर्स बैक देर वॉज नो चैट जी पी टी आज मेरा बच्चा भी है ना एक ऐसे लिख के आता है ऐसा लगता है यार मैंने सीखा ही नहीं इंग्लिश कहाँ से लिख के आता पता मैंने कहा किसने लिखा बोला मैंने लिखा मैं बोला झूठ झूठ मत बोल बाद में पता चला चैट जी पी टी नाम का कुछ उस टाइम में पता नहीं था अभी प्रॉब्लम ये हो गया कि आपका सीवी आपका बायोडाटा वो चैट जीपीटी ऐसा बना देता है कि यार वो फेसबुक का वो जिसका फेस होता है वो होता ही नहीं है वो दूसरा ही कोई होता है हाउ इज दी टेक्नोलॉजी कैन प्ले अ रोल पॉजिटिवली आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉर द स्टार्टअप सर एक्चुअली इफ यू टेक लॉन्गर ऑरिजन हिस्ट्री देर आर आई थिंक क्लोज टू ट्वेंटी जनरल पर्पज टेक्नोलॉजी इन ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन starting with wheels uh, i'm going all the way back there uh, and i think the recent past uh, you had internet cloud and now we are talking about ai which is also chat general purpose technology 
Uh, and every time such a GPT comes in human civilization, it's an opportunity for entrepreneurial energy to create newer businesses because this is essentially a new paradigm uh, to do the same thing, possibly in a very, very efficient manner. I was told that still, engine is one of the GPT actually in those in the continuum of that GPTs. Still, there are only two billion engines that you find. Uh, still, fans and some uh, not so usual applications are getting the uh, uh, infusion of engines. So we are talking about something that was invented almost like 100, 150 years ago. Still trying to influence human uh, 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 behavior, right? So coming back to role of technology, I think where we are as a country, uh, having traveled globally, having built businesses globally, I can safely say entrepreneurial energy in our country is possibly the biggest competitive edge that India is going to have in the next 30, 40 years. I think a government which understands this, or what do I mean by government understanding it, is that it's not government's business to run businesses. So minimum governance, enabling entrepreneurs, enabling businesses, enabling companies to thrive is what I mean by a government which is very sensitive to entrepreneurship. And I think we are at the right moment. So you have the right, I would say, demographic dividend, which is the entrepreneurial energy, the right ecosystem. Now, once you have these two right, I think what is needed is a clever idea. Uh, a lot of mortality of startups, if I have to put a spin to it, I think there are a lot of me too ideas. In a way, what he mentioned, right? This should not turn into a fad where I want to do a startup, right? It's, it shouldn't become a fad. It's a, it's a hard work. Like you said, it's, it's sports. You need to dedicate. There is need. There needs to be a lot of uh, grind that goes into it. And simply put, you need a simple, clever idea in terms of why your idea needs to exist amongst thousands and thousands of ideas. You need to have a unique viewpoint, right? And once you have that unique viewpoint, of course, there are very different ways to get that viewpoint. You could be part of a family which has been doing this business for. Uh, many years and now here you are, you are educated, you have a new uh, uh, perspective, you have, uh, so which means that you can think of the business processes differently than possibly what your father or your uh, family has thought of, so that's a new idea. Or you have worked in a company and then you have realized that look, maybe we can do this differently, right? So something that you have done for some years gives you that ability to come up with a perspective which is unique, which is clever, and then that gives you conviction, like what he said, the resilience, right? Resilience comes from conviction. Because this world is run by conformists. Everybody says that you need to follow the rules. And the only way you can create something is when you break the rules. And if you are breaking the rules, you need to have a lot of conviction. And that conviction comes from your own hard work, yeah. right? For the largest organizations, uh, based in Europe or US, right? That's a unique advantage. So with this unique advantage, you can do two things when it comes to startup. Either you can think technology itself as a product and you know uh, build a company around it, or think technology enabled businesses and think of existing businesses and reimagine.
something that you can really do, okay? That's one example. You can take a farmer who is putting the biomass into the water. He's actually needs to drill the two things. He thinks the biomass into the water is not being ready to, ready to be harvested. He thinks 10 ton is going to come out of it, but the harvest only 3 ton comes out because rest of them could have had seed or many things could have happened. How can technology help him to find a similar option for the biomass and help him harvest it without problem, okay? So these are different tools. If you really go through the value chain and realize there is a lot of application that you can do and each of these smaller problem areas can create value. And that's what we've done at Smart Ventures and that's where the Smart Scout become roughly the largest in, in South Asia from a valuation and supply standpoint. And because we've done this in the right way, with these tremendous future tools, we're able to say that people from the US, they're able to go across more markets and we, we can support them a lot more than we can do now, right? Because our offer market is very small, okay? So basically summarizing a clever idea and then ability to bring the notion of the technology and biomass very broadly. And India is the place where technology is the superpower when it comes to the biomass. So supply chain is something uh, which I am a food technologist and one of the really wrong thing which has been taught to us. If there is a raw material, you should put a factory there, which is an absolutely wrong thing. It should be a market close rather than the produce close. Otherwise, what you produce and what you do then with that produce. So supply chain is something really important and supply chain is not only sourcing, it is now the logistic management, supply chain management. So in the startup, we are very, we are ignored about uh, supply chain management. They believe that it is only about the big companies. What is that? But it can actually make your, like in the milk, is the shelf life is hardly six hours if you don't cool. So if you can throw light on the supply chain as a aspect. Thank you. Absolutely. And especially in the agri food sector, if we look at the agriculture sector, I, I talk about upstream and downstream. Uh, if you take farming as the center of the agriculture segment, your inputs are getting your seeds, your pesticides, your uh, organic components for your field, your fertilizers. And once you get from farm gate, we spoke about a 30% loss, a lot of which happens right at the farm gate. And these uh, numbers are same over the last 30 years. Absolutely. Uh, also because th there's... Um, I'm just going to deviate for one single moment uh, because we talk about sustainability in agriculture and food security for the world uh, and uh, people throw an organic here there in the middle of the mix. Uh, sustainability from a very simplistic perspective is that uh, it's a fact that our population is growing. It's a fact that the cultivable arable land mass is shrinking because urbanization is growing, which means the only way we can continue to feed, we are already the most populous country in the world, the only way we can continue sustaining food security, continuing feeding ever-growing stomachs, is by increasing productivity in the farmland. Uh, because while even if we save on this 30%, we bring down that number, obviously there have been tremendous strides in cold chain transport, but they come with their cost on the environment the amount of uh, CO2 emissions that come in refrigerated cold chain transport. And so uh, what is obviously <clears throat> from a startup perspective, there is a lot of need, especially the, the, the strength in India as a market comes from our population. People often talk about, oh, India is a populous country and that is actually a, one of our biggest strengths because uh, the global financial crisis comes in, the housing market collapses, India will navigate through. It's the the inertia of the masses, I call it. That uh, And the same thing applies. You can take out a 10-hectare surface and you can find enough things to build a circular economy over there in our country. And so that need, that 
is a severely unaddressed segment in our country and that is definitely one area where there is a lot of scope in bringing this in and uh, we spoke about uh, supply chain affecting bit companies because I, I i mean i am severely impacted all our fertilizers are imported from our group companies in europe and uh, you know the houthis decide to create a problem near the suez canal i lose two months of sales because uh, i have containers stuck in the red sea and they need to go all around africa and come around and it, it's ridiculous how the butterfly effect has crazy impacts across and and there are companies that can literally close down because of these kind of delays and what we need to be anticipatory is i i always talk about with my team internally and outside to say that if you have a plan for achieving something build your plan b your plan c your plan d especially when it comes to your sourcing and how you're going to get your produce and your products out to consumers because one thing that is guaranteed is that you will get curveballs along the way uh, and speaking about the supply chain and ensuring that you're able to find in proper pathways uh, it the other cost that you need to take into account is not just a question of your expenditure but the scope to emissions that come out of your uh, your activity per se obviously the world is becoming uh, more conscious of this and uh, definitely large corporations always find the easiest way to solve it saying that you know that part of the amazon forest that i would have normally chopped i am not chopping so i am contributing to the environment uh, we buy carbon credits it's a ridiculous game but it is there <laughs> we have to deal with it i can joke about it we can crib about it but it's a reality Big it's over business. there so which is why it's important that down the line especially this sector agriculture comes with this boon that we have the possibility of doing carbon capture and definitely 10 years from now absorbing uh, co2 from the atmosphere could have significant impact on and tax savings it's coming uh, whether you know it's a, it's a question of 3 years 5 years 10 years but it's definitely coming and if not here then where we definitely have this opportunity uh, from that standpoint so just to summarize on the supply chain impacts always it it boils down to the resilience to ensure uh, having a shorter um, a, a, a shorter circular economical approach when it comes to ensuring sourcing local and and it's a huge mindset problem in india because i mean hum khud sabzi kharidne jate hain tomato round nahi hai tomato mein yellow color nahi nahi honi chahiye ye we have such pretentious levels of expectations that it should be organic and this notion that organic is healthy and uh, you know this consumer mindset and if something uh, if a pack of bread has a best before date we assume that it's an expiry date no best before and expiry are two different words uh, you have a pharmaceutical product that has an expiry date theek hai jaan ka khatra hai uske baad but then a bread best before matlab kharab nahi hua hai to kya problem hai matlab kha lo but that mentality needs to change and it's also part of you know um, as we are in educating consumers to consistently say that we all have a collective role to play uh in in reducing this uh, the the pollution that comes in from uh prolonged supply chain systems and in building backups on that especially for perishables and that is definitely one key area where there's tremendous opportunity and this opportunity does not necessarily come from drone technology from satellite imagery you just need to identify the solution and always believe in occam's razor the easiest solution i i talk a lot i mean people say you know ab to fertilizer mein nano technology aa chuka hai utna bhi zarurat nahi hai jo farmer ko educate karo ki uska soil mein kya deficient hai us deficiency ko uski jagah matlab urea pe urea dalte raho the government is bleeding 2.5 trillion rupees in fertilizer Subsidies. subsidies the farmers are not getting you know 10 guna zyada for their produce educate them help what them exactly what is required for your soil increase your productivity so that jab vegetable price kam hoega you still manage to make up with your margins which is absolutely essential and that 
turnaround is what we absolutely need in our sir, country. Sir, uh, thank you, sir. We have a time limit, so that's why I'm uh, actually, no, but your points are really valid and you beautifully explained the sustainability and the entire ecosystem. And I think our smart students can take up this area of finding out the solution, the relative solution which is applicable to us, not the US and UK, because we cannot copy something which is not copyable in India. Now we come to uh, Mr. Shashidhar, sir. Uh, we talked about, and uh, during our pre-discussion, you talked about value proposition, the uniqueness, because uh, sir talked about ideas, uh, technology, then what is that one thing, and during your uh, 15, 20 years of experience, that that uniqueness, how to maintain that? Because 72% are failure. But if you have that uniqueness, and how to retain that, and how to build on that? So some light and related points. You know, the answer actually in my view is very simple. We just have to pick the right problem to solve. If you have figured out the right problem to be solved, I think that in itself is half the answer in terms of, uh, you know, having a sustainable business. Now, what are the challenges here? Now, there are B2C startups here, B2B startups in really understanding the unmet consumer needs, the your your customer needs, you are a B2C startup, so what is the problem you are solving for? Is it health, is it convenience, is it cost, is it nutrition? That has to be figured out. But I'll put that aside and come to a topic I'm more conversant with, which is the B2B space. And then I'll talk about what would someone like, uh, say, Marico or uh, um, an Amul would be interested in, or even Tetra Pak. So what are our problems that are bothering us uh, today, the, the biggest problems and then if you're trying to sell to the corporates, are you helping us meet our biggest goals of sustainability? Are you helping us meet, um, uh, you know, the, the larger goals that, that we have today? I'll just uh, drop on the example that Uttam talked about, you know, fish, you said the 70% uh, fuel, the cost of fish. So if you were to draw a parallel with uh, wheat, and, and were to do a GHG mapping of uh, the emissions of uh, wheat, about 800 kg CO2 equivalent of emissions comes out, out of every ton of wheat, uh, wheat flour that's produced, out of which about 700 kg CO2 equivalent is coming because of the raw material. So you see the biggest proportions, and if you want to bring in a technology and, and further to drill down this point about uh, say 200, 250 uh, ton per day of a wheat flour plant would have 1 to 1.2 megawatt of installed load. So you know where the biggest problems are to be addressed if you want to address this market. You help us solve the problem of yield by say 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5%, that's a winner, that's a clear winner. You help us reduce on the uh, rework that has to be done on the material that's clearly a winner. So what I'm trying to say is that if the right problems are picked, the problem is half solved. So that is the real issue when you're trying to sell to the B2B market and for the startups. Uh, so yeah, to summarize, if you are in the B2C space, then health, convenience, cost, and the B2B space, what are the big challenges? I think identification of the right problem is, is you said the it problem. Sir, beautifully. Thank you. Uh, Mehta ji, if uh, you can join, sorry. So now we will uh, make the panel open for the question answer and we have one US, then one Switzerland, one French and then two of our Gujarat. So there will be a good, uh, there will be good rewards. You may get a chance to visit to Fr France, you may get a chance to visit to Switzerland. Uh, right questions. <laughs> so before I throw two questions, I just want, sir, and very insightful. What is one ability of the, because there are a lot of startups today and futuristic startups, those who want to do job, uh, their own uh, business. What is one quality, only one word? So start with you, sir. Only one word to say, because that quality is very important for them. You have said frugality, but more than that, one word. Consumer insight. Wow, great. Both Jor Sutalia. Air Talia come Bajriya. Toda Talia Bajao. Consumer insights, and I think uh, we can have a 30 minutes talk. And I know that all these are expert and they are successful because of consumer insight. Very good. 
सर वन वर्ड शुक्ला जी यूनिकनेस वेरी गुड यूनिकनेस ऑफ आइडिया और एनी थिंग आइडिया ऑफकोर्स वेरी गुड सर शुक्ला जी थैंक यू शशिधर सर आई वुड से द विलिंगनेस टू कोलैबोरेट collaborate the, the the days of the lone inventor i think that's long gone unless you have the mindset to collaborate you really can't create sustainable and successful businesses so sab kuch main hu ye nahi chalega to collaborate so hamari bhasha mein sahkar se samruddhi sahkar se samruddhi nahi i heard sarkar se samruddhi nahi sahkar sahkar theek hai chal okay dekhiye so nahi 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 sir main 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 सर जब सर 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 गुजरात गुजरात स्पॉन्सर है गुजरात तो सरकार से भी तो यहाँ तो एटलीस्ट है सर बट वो एक्चुअली हमारे गुप्ता जी वहाँ बैठे आदेश जी बैठे मैं कुछ सरकार पे नहीं बोलूंगा लेकिन बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है वो भी सुनना हाँ वो नहीं नहीं सर सहकारी है सर हाँ जी जस्ट टू एड अ पॉइंट ऑन हिज कोलेबरेशन इट्स ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर स्टार्टअप टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द वर्ल्ड इज नॉट आउट टू स्टील योर आइडिया it is your baby it is your insight and development but it's also very important to understand that nobody will look at the same idea as you have so talk more collaborate more be open about it sure do patents i mean i've dabbled so much in patents at the end of the day patents are published 18 months from your provisional filing yeah. which means it's public open. data it's open and india is a country where nothing is possible and everything is possible so, the strength of the population koi matlab dusre kone pe ja ke aapka patent utha ke wo copy kar diya aapko dhoondne mein hi 20 saal lag jayega to matlab don't be ha koi kar matlab case file kar lijiye aapka pota to jeet jayega matlab it's it's a question of if you jaise aapne bataya na teen tarike ke log hote hain the first acha ye kar dunga wo ho jayega this problem don't live in fear be bindhas and open about it and believe in your good karma it will find a way to good karma come come back to you so uh, and Sir. to just my word <laughs> sorry <laughs> i stole time uh, resilience please be at it don't Very give good. up keep going keep working keep tweaking you will always get through yes. respect yeah actually i also had resilience but uh, <clears throat> i think ability to fail and wake up in a way it is resilience but uh, that's yeah thank you now we'll have three questions uh, four questions abhi abhi oh, ek 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 aur cheez bolna hai and which it is my first boss taught me ki you need to also have the ability to smell money smell money paise sungne ki aapko ek kshamta honi chahiye and i think that would be one of the key things <laughs> sir bahut important point अरे हमने बोल दिया आपने शायद मिस किया मनी समझने के लिए बड़े बड़े कोर्सेस है नहीं तो गुजरात में पैदा होना पड़ता है <laughs> चलो सो नाउ द फ्लोर इज ओपन वी हैव 15 मिनट्स वी कैन हैव टेक थ्री फोर क्वेश्चंस प्लीज नेम योर सेल्फ हु आर यू एंड डोंट गिव अ बायोडाटा बट आज द क्वेश्चन ऑल आवर पैनलिस्ट आर इगर एंड वी विल बी 50 50% परसेंट मेल एंड फीमेल वी वॉन्ट सम एंटरप्रीन्यर्स फ्रॉम द can some coordinator help them to get the mic please coordinator anybody so standing the question sir the question is to you jamento and uh, especially you have comment about uh, sir name your sir brother okay. i will tell you who oh. are you <laughs> okay james joseph he is james the diabetic man of india the solution of diabetic and from the uh, man ki baat also the honorable prime minister has admired his startup give him a big hand okay. so, so the startup is jackfruit 365 Thanks to an ask from Dr. Kalam, I made an atta out of the green jackfruit, and clinically proved it can reduce HbA1c. Okay, and your point about mass media communication, and that one study, the PR, spiked my sales beyond my imagination. We were the number three bestseller on Amazon for one full month. We overtook many brands out there, but that is because of a, a, a viral uh, communication. now the only way i can replicate that is through mass media communication and you are saying that is not the way if you you have achieved a certain scale and you know the results has a multiplier effect and you know that this is what is your beta then uh, you you go ahead and make it mass okay 
go ahead and make it mass. Now, when you've tasted success, when you know that these are the things which help, uh, you, you need mass media also as a credibility building tool. But it's, it's not just that you are putting your money without even testing the fruits of your own. Yeah. So that is, you know, and then so next option is you innovate something, you invent something which can have a significant impact. And then it, for children, it needs to be given as a value-added product. So an ingredient needs to be a value-added product. But if you go get into the final product, then it, can, it, it may either take too long a time or it may be too expensive. So in that stage, is it better to be a B2B than B2C? Uh, what gets results instantly is B2B. What creates value is B2C. Thank Very you. good. So James I go by uh, what Amul does. We reduce our B2B component to the minimum. We depend the least on commodities. We don't sell, sell milk in tankers. We don't sell milk in cans. We sell milk only in consumer packs. And it is hard. It's hard. Yeah. In the long term, you create value when you are in B2C space. Thank you. Thank you, James. Thank, and you. Uh, thank you, sir, for anybody. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Apoor and I am from Chandigarh. So my question is for uh, Mr. Jain and Mr. Udham, that how can startups focus, uh, like those who are uh, basically into export business, can focus on the compliances, like there are uh, many different compliances for different countries. So how can they uh, like achieve that level of compliances at the very early stage? I think, uh, sorry, before you answer, sir, uh, uh, Mr. Udham, Compliance entire the two days conference is happening about FSSI. So we kept the compliance. We consider compliance is hygiene. It has to be done. So isliye humne compliance ko chhua nahi, kyunki wo oxygen hai sir. Usko agar nahi karenge to wo to shuru nahi hon sakta. But it's very important. Yeah, actually, uh, it's uh, I'm just reiterating his point. Compliance is like the language that you speak, and without the language, you can't just attempt to start anything. You know, if you want to speak, so uh, it's expensive. If you are aspiring to go into a market, it's expensive and you need to take that cost of compliance as a given. Never ever think of circumventing that because when it bites back, you will never come back. So uh, so there is no shortcut to it. <laughs> you need to hire the, I wouldn't say best, but you need to hustle and get the right advice so that your compliance is taken care of. Because that's something that you should never uh, uh, take shortcuts on. So you can connect with sir later on after that. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have one. Yeah. Sure. Uh, hello, I'm Yashi Shivastha from Yari Qualitech Indore. Uh, my question is sometimes when there is a new startup, uh, a person is having a good idea which is actually beneficial as a B2B. And industry will get a benefit out of it. But uh, many times industry don't believe in a new startup. So any suggestion or any key mantra, how to make it, uh, you know, believable? Yes, sir. I mean, uh, ultimately, I, I always say there are two components to building a successful business. Obviously, you need a good product that's of quality. Mm -hmm. And the second one is only relations. Uh, building relations. Okay. India mein har business, har cheez, logon se hoti hai. It's not on the pure merit of, I mean, uh, it's it's by enhancing your network, by building in uh, your contacts, they are your first, uh, you know, they're your champions who would say, haan, thik hai, startup hai, par reliable hai. Because I've met the person who supplies all these tiny, tiny pouches to L'Oreal. Okay. That's all he does. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not a big packaging conglomerate from the world who has a branch in India. They go around scouting. Any company would always talk around. So the, the biggest strength that you have is in being present in as many forums, in talking, spreading the word. The more people hear about you, your credibility builds. And you might not be a fancy brand that is known to the public. I remember, uh, sir, when I was doing interviews in France, when I was looking for a job change, this was seven years ago, uh, the, it was in the food space, I was in the biotech space at that time. And they asked me, uh, do you know about Mariko in India? I had no idea who Mariko is. I know all the brand names, 
But I didn't know that <laughs> the holding structure was called Mariko. So basically, you don't necessarily need publicity in the public domain, but definitely networking is the only solution. And it, yeah. it costs in time. It does not cost in money. Mm. You have to be present. You have to have uh, always be open to pitching. And uh, the more your name resonates around, things will automatically find their way to you. I hope you Great. Nice answer. But you Thanks. are good at that. <laughs> I, can I quickly <laughs> add that uh, one thing that would uh, really help uh, the people who are looking at startups in the corporate world is how well a startup prototypes. If you're looking for uh, you know, a ton of investments before coming out with your first product, then that's actually a big barrier. How well do you define your MVP so that with a quick and dirty prototype, you can convince with something that's on the table rather than a fantastic slide deck? I think that as much as a technology and a science is, is an art, where do you draw the boundaries? And what are the key value propositions that you want to prove in your first uh, prototype? Uh, I think that's really the winner. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think, uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Hi. My name is Shagorika. She I'm got the mic uh, from her home only. So <laughs> she's sitting with the mic. I come well equipped. Very good. Uh, my name is Shagorika. I'm the co-founder of Good Kitchen. Firstly, thank you. Wonderful session. Very engaging. So thank you all. Uttam, I have a question for you. Unbelievable feat. Five years, 5,000 crores. So my question is, what are the two things that you think got you to where you are today? And what are the two mistakes you made which all the rest of us You're can learn from? You're asking the public? Yes. <laughs> Transparency is key. So uh, I think vision was al always very large. Uh, two choices, one choice, one big choice you have to make when you're starting up is, do you want to bootstrap or do you want to make this a venture funded uh, company? Of course, venture funded companies get all the glamour, but when they fail, they also get the brick bags. So having that choice, uh, I come from investment banking. I believed that fundraising was my skill. So I was always over indexing for venture capital and we have raised like $200 million of capital. So capital has really been one of those key things to in our journey. And having that clarity is very important because yeah. bootstrap versus VC, it's a very different world. You can't, you can't confuse the two, right. right? In terms of mistakes, where to play is very important. Mm. Once you have the idea, right? Where to play is very important and I started playing this game in India and realized that uh, it's a very hard game to play because India ecosystem is not developed as far as the B2B uh, uh, supply chain is concerned, distribution is con concerned. I can't solve for people who don't want to pay back money to me. Right? I can't solve for it unless the government comes with policies to help us uh, get our money back, receivables back. I can't solve for it. So while the idea was good, I couldn't get the necessary results. When I changed the where to play mm. to the markets that, you know, all of these ecosystems were developed, then we found success. Right. I think, yeah, that's the mistake I would call out that I got the where to play wrong, wrong first two years and, I, and I, I've blown through a lot of money because of that. Thank you. Thanks. We have last question now. So here, okay, I will come to you. Yes, let's give the mic to him. Hi, sir. Good evening. Um, <coughs> uh, I am Pratik Katari, and it was a really nice session hearing you all. There was a lot of uh, new clarities that you gave me. Specifically, uh, I am just starting my own entrepreneurial journey. So one, one particular problem that I always face is that when I start something new, I have this particular fear that uh, there are other players in the market which are, which are playing at a very heavy and a huge money. Like uh, if I even start something for a waste management, let's say in my city, and I am seeing that this is a very huge pile of uh, waste that is there, that is generated in my city. But there is some or the other person who has actually the same idea, and uh, he or she is working with a lot of fund. So uh, how to go with that? Like, it sometimes, it, f it just shatters the, the thing in me, like uh, whether I would be able to succeed, uh, because uh, we don't have that fund or something. Do 
उस पर आप प्ले करेंगे तो ज्यादा अच्छा होगा रादर देन ओनली ऑन द इन्वेस्टमेंट साइड ओके सर इन्वेस्टमेंट तो आता रहेगा आप देखिए अगर पांच साल में पांच हजार करोड़ हो सकता है तो आप भी कर सकते हैं लेकिन आइडिया में दम होना चाहिए और दूसरों से घबराने की बात नहीं आपको अपने ऊपर कॉन्फिडेंस रख के उसको आगे बढ़ना चाहिए That's the weapon when you are very young. Don't sacrifice that weapon. Sir, और एक बात पवन कुमार अग्रवाल हमारे एक सी ओ थे उन्होंने स्टार्टअप पर हम लोग कुछ प्रोग्राम कर रहे थे एंड वी सेट दैट विल गिव दिस विल गिव दैट ही सेट यार स्टार्टअप है सब कुछ मत देना लेट देम ऑल्सो डू आई थिंक आई रियली लाइक दैट एंड वॉट स्ट्रगल यू गॉट इफ एवरी थिंग इज रेडी तो लेट्स ज्वाइन द जॉब ना कंपनी दे देगी पूरा स्टार्टअप के लिए तो थोड़ी सी डिफिकल्टी आएगी तो डोंट वेरी सर पानी में कूदने के पहले थोड़ा फियर होता है एक बार Absolutely, always enough fish. He he gets it. <laughs> Chalo, now we got a unique award and reward from the Marico, the hamper, and rest are the uh, Switzerland trip and France trip. You can connect with them separately. So all the people who have asked the question, please come forward. We'll give a special uh, uh, volunteers. Please come forward. And all 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 those who have actually asked the question. So we are going reverse way. First, we'll felicitate you, Joseph. Come on. Who's hand to take? बोल तेरी रजा क्या है नहीं 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 हुम यू वॉन्ट फ्रॉम आई थिंक ही आंसर यू वेल वन मिनिट वन मिनिट टू अरे ताली तो बजाओ यार यशिश मैम आपको देना है सर नहीं नहीं सर देंगे आप सर आपको सर के हाथ से लेना है Who is the uh, one more left? No? Or ha? Huh? Sir, are you off camera? Let's go again. Okay. Anybody left? <laughs> sir, frugality, eh? <hai> na. <laughs> Aap se seekhe sir. Okay. Now I request our Gupta ji. Uh, he represent the government and Sahakar se hi Sarkar hai. Oh, but let me thank you. The this kind of atmosphere and government is doing a fantastic job. I was in Brazil two months back, and this is a fact. The Brazilian, our ambassador sir, Dr. Suresh Reddy sir, very high security officer. He said that Brazil me two years me inflation 150 guna bad gaya. US me 40 guna bad gaya after COVID. Sir, our government, who be government hogi, our government ne state ho central ho, itna badiya kaam inflation pe kiya hai. हमारी महंगाई आफ्टर कोविड हैज नॉट इंक्रीज बाय 20 परसेंट ट्वेंटी थर्टी परसेंट ऑन बेसिक्स में बहुत बड़ी उपलब्धि है बाहर जब जाते हैं तब पता चलता है कि हमारी गवर्नमेंट ने हमारे लिए क्या किया है तो सहकार के लिए जोर से ताली है गुप्ता जी आपके लिए सो आई रिक्वेस्ट गुप्ता जी टू गिव दी मेहता साहब एंड डॉक्टर शुक्ला जी Then Shashidhar sir, Vignesh ji, and Uttam sir,